All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at Red Rising Dragon. So this is the card that in that episode of Daily Duels when we were tagging that Mal put in his deck, and then when we went to a duel, the, deck, the card kind of disappeared from the deck while in Legio Pro. And I think I know the reason why. Uh, this card actually has a different second effect than what I read previously when it was on there temporarily. So I guess that's a good reason to go ahead and remove it. You know, because it's like, wait a minute, this effect's not right. But uh, the card is still good nonetheless. So uh, for those those of you who are the Red Dragon Arc Fiend uh, fan deck, the Resonator deck, uh, you got a new card, which is great. You know, I was uh, I was using that deck for a little while on daily duels. Uh, it was, you know, it was, it was a nice gap, you know, there was no bridge, and I think that you finally got your bridge here, which is nice. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, level, lower resonated monsters, tuners, and the monsters that could be special up in other high levels, you know, running things like, uh, you know, uh, the butterfly, and the wolf, and instant fusion, you know, things like that, especially on high level monsters, which are level tuners, even special something like Rise Bell, who's psychic with the emergency teleport red resonator, increasing its level just to bust out them really high level synchro plays with the resonators and uh, the lower level resonator tuner monsters and the high level non tuner monsters. But now, we've actually got a bridge through this red rising dragon, so let's go ahead and look at it. So, this monster is a dark dragon synchro effect monster, level 6, 2100 attack, 1600 defense, made with one fiend type tuner monster plus one or more non tuner monsters. When this card is synchro summon, you can target one resonator monster or graveyard special summon it. You can also special summon monsters from your extra deck to turn you activate this effect except for dark dragon type synchro monsters. So it simply just pays you back and it gives way more attention to red resonator, of course. So this actually gives you more use out of that monster uh, red sprinter. You know? Uh, he has a pretty good card, but you just would never run him because he doesn't have too much synergy with the uh, uh, with the whole you know red dragon arch fiend thing. It really didn't. Uh, as the fact is, he's a level four monster. It's not a double card for him. Just go quickly go over. He's level four monster that says when his card is normal summon or special summon while you control no other monsters, uh, you can special summon a level three or lower fiend type tuner monster from your hand or graveyard. So essentially, he would. If you have like a red resonator in your graveyard and you have no other monsters, you can summon him. It will summon back red resonator. Sure, you can sink six, but you're going to go into. You go into this. And then this, the uh, red rising dragon, will go ahead and summon back that red resonator and then sink into hot red or scar right. So that's pretty good. You know? Or the other red dragon mushroom, but no one plays him anymore. See the hot red or scar right, right? So uh, it's a nice bridge. It really is. It's a really nice bridge to go ahead and connect, gives more attention to red resonator and. Uh, helps the play out, so you don't have to really focus on uh, so much of them high level monsters. You can throw in a couple level fours and uh, do it that way. Just all you need to do is just uh, have red resonator summon to level four, sink into this. This will summon back to red resonator, sink into high red scar right. Simple as that. So, uh, of course, I'm assuming that you've probably seen the red resonator Ultimaya play. So it's just red resonator summon Armageddon, I'm again nice and Maui, going to Coral Dragon. Uh, you can pitch or pop if you want to. Coral, I mean, Mally, Banish, Mally, Summon, Mally. You have a level 6 tuner, level 6 non tuner. Sink right into Ultimaya. Coral Dragon, it's super summon, move from the field, draw a card, draw a card, and bam, there you go, Ultimaya. And I thought with literally those two monsters and just to uh, uh, be able to send Mally, you can bust out Ultimaya with the greatest of ease. But now you can go ahead and bust out a high reddish card, right, with the greatest of ease as well. So. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the second effect, which is actually different. Which is different. Uh, previously, the second effect was during your main phase step to turn this, this card was into a graveyard. You could banish this card from your graveyard, then uh, target a dark dragon type synchro monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Now it is changed to during your main phase step to turn this card was into a graveyard. You could banish this card from your graveyard, then target two level one resonator monsters in your graveyard, special summon it, uh, special summon them. Uh, in my opinion, that is good because it'd be great if you could just have this card sitting in your graveyard. Then, when your Scar Rider go or a Red Dragon Archfiend goes, just banish it and bam, summon it. You know, even your best. So, you know, I think that the, for, the original effect was a little bit better, but this 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 goes well too. So, pretty much, you use this to summon this Hot Red of Scar Right. Hopefully, it stays on the field for a turn. Then, during your next main phase, uh, you can go ahead and banish this card, target two level one Resonate Monsters in your graveyard special summon. So not only do you have to wait a turn, but you also have to have the two level one resonator monsters already in your graveyard. So it's a little bit of a slap, a little bit of a stretch, you know. Uh, I kind of wish they would change it to maybe up to two, and then maybe you could do the effect during the same turn. That'd be pretty cool. You know, that way you can bust out Abyss as soon as possible. But uh, pretty much it, it allows you to go into some plays that are a little bit more uh, risque and uh, difficult to get. So of course you can 
have your you'll have your hardware your sky right. You'll banish this to summon the two level one tuners. You can then either synchro summon once into Abyss, right? Which is one tuner plus one uh, non tuner dark synchro uh, dragon type monster that you have on your field. So it's uh, level nine. Sync into this and then use the other tuner to, if you want to. If you want to, you can synchro summon once again using the Abyss and the other t level one tuner to, summon to go into Bay. Then you still have your normal summon. I mean, you use your normal summon. You can summon a monster, tribute it, special summon a red dragon archfiend from your graveyard. You can summon back that abyss that you just uh, haven't filled. That way you would have Bane and Abyss, 1300 and 3500, and the 1300 that can uh, negate uh, anything on the field, any effect on the field. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. But uh, another monster you can go into, which I don't think I, I ever went into it on Daily Duels, and I don't think I've ever seen it uh, go into because it's kind of difficult. Uh, you can actually go into Red Dragon Archfiend Tyrant, people. That's, uh, that's actually pretty powerful. You know, pretty powerful that you can actually uh, bust that out. Uh, if you're like, uh, I don't know who that is. It was he busted it out one episode uh, when he was dealing against Yuya, uh, Jack. Uh, it's made it's thirty five hundred attack, three thousand defense, two tuners plus one or more non tuner monsters. So pretty much your Skyrider Heart Red plus the two tuners that you just summoned from the Great Red with uh, with uh, Red Rising Dragon sink into this, which is pretty powerful. Uh, it must be secret summon cannot be special by other ways. During your main phase one, you could destroy all other cards on the field. All other cards. Uh, all also monsters you control other than this card cannot attack for this turn, but you just blew up the field. Like back row, pendulum scales, everything. Blow it up, you know? And then during either player's battle phase, when a spell trap is activated, you can get the activation if you do destroy that card. If you if you do that, this card gains five hundred attack. So uh, if your opponent tries to hit you up with that mirror force, you could be like, no, negate, and now I'm 4,000. So, uh, I mean, that, that effect's kind of, it's not great, it's not terrible, but overall not bad, you know. But that, this the fact that you just blow up all other cards, so if you literally keep that high rider scar out on the field and use this red rising effect, you can just sink it into this and blow up all cards in your opponent's back field. That's, that's pretty powerful. So you can clearly see how much of a bridge it is. It's definitely, this card definitely helps out. I'm glad that they got it. It's interesting that they got it when Jack hasn't, you know, been in the show, you know, they're out of the sim card dimension, they left Jack behind, so for him to get yet another card after this time when he's not even in the show and not even in the limelight anymore, it's kind of weird, but hey, everything gets good shit except for Destiny Heroes, right? So, anyway, I am done with this card review, so tell me what you guys think about Red Rising Dragon in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, I will of course be back next week with some more cards to look at, so thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys uh, next week, thanks for watching.